<laughs> okay, thanks. John Ensign's day didn't start in Nevada, but in California at the crack of dawn. He flew into town after attending to some family business. But it's exactly. two weeks it's from election people. day and time's running out. Ensign's Far getting down the to the treasury. wire and he's got to squeeze things in. You study his, his first public appearance is in familiar territory. So are, he's visiting Clark will, High School talking with advanced leads. government students. Thank you all very much. Ensign says winter. he soaks up energy from this type of exchange. I draw on other people's energy a lot, especially uh, during campaigns when you're exhausted. And these kids had a lot of energy this morning and, and walking in there certainly gives you a great start on the day. By 9, Ensign arrives at Nevada Power. He shakes a few hands and passes out some leaflets. John Ensign, how are nice. you? Nice to see you. Can I give you one of these? How are you? There's a little information, telephone number. Call us yeah. or email, whatever, if you have any questions. Okay, great. Okay, thank, thank you. you. An hour later, he's out the door and on his way to his next event. His next stop calls for some more handshaking with small business workers at the Bradley Building. <laughs> and matter of fact, I make a deal with people. If we don't get the information back to you, you don't have to vote for me. By 11.15, he's out the door and on his way to his fourth campaign stop. What I like about campaigning, uh, uh, I get out meeting people. I'm, I'm a real people type person, and, and especially when you can get out and shake hands or sp speak to small groups. That's my favorite part about campaigning. But the congressman okay, says there are parts of campaigning that he does not like. I don't know anybody that runs for office that doesn't hate r raising money. It's the worst part of campaigns. They've gotten so expensive. And, and the main reason is television has gotten so expensive. Ensign's back on old stomping grounds again. This time, it's at UNLV's campus. He spent a year there during the 70s, but things have changed on campus since he went to class. Are we in the right class? No, then, in the building, in front of the humanities building. We're, uh, we're in the wrong building. What I thought I would do this morning... Now it's almost 2 o'clock. Time for Ensign to stop by his campaign office to prepare for what will be the highlight of his day, a face-to-face -face debate with his opponent, Senator Harry Reid. It's fair to have a contract. The Nevada don't trust the IRS. They shrink the size of the federal government. <laughs> After the debate, Ensign's day appears to be done, but it's not. He'll end his day exactly the way he started it, on a plane. But this time, he's got to catch the red eye to Washington to work on his other job in Congress. Tracy Scott, Channel 8 Eyewitness News.